Welcome, everybody, to SimCast number three. This week we have Ethan, also known as the Andersonator, and also known as Butt Snorkeler. Heck yeah, dog. We're just going <laughs> to ride around on uh, <laughs> Skyfall MX and just hang out and talk, so. Yeah. Radical. Dude, this 450 is fast, though. Like, It's a lot faster than the 125. Right. I mean, obviously. <laughs> oh, there I go. Oh, yeah, sick. Um, what happened to you guys? Wh- oh, what you want to talk about? Wrecked. Man. I don't know. Um, Ethan, why did you start making YouTube videos? Why did I? Miss- <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't know, he makes uh, real-life like trail and enduro riding videos. and The link to his channel will be in the description. Yeah. So, it's kind of a big deal. Just saying. I'm kind of a big deal. I have 85 subs, so you know, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to mess with me because like I got a very strong fan base. Yeah. Um, they're beloved. But what made me want to make videos? Yeah, like why did you start? Okay, or... like I think it's like pretty generic. Like, you know how like those GoPro videos came out and like the whole GoPro thing just took off, like. Yeah, I wanted to be one of those guys. Like, just I just wanted to freaking send it, <laughs> and you know, like get it on video so chicks would dig me. But you know, <laughs> so far no chicks have digged it. <laughs> Probably have to get more subs for that. <laughs> Struck out. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, far, if you want so far no goal. To dig it, then uh, you probably should get off the trails and on the track and throw some. Yeah, words. apparently girls like freestyle and like you know motocross. <laughs> like you know the g-force jarvis he doesn't get any chicks oh. you know he's a god but you know i don't know i mean poor jarvis have you seen that guy's him. face no I mean, that, that's why <laughs> <laughs> he's pretty skilled on a bike though Dude, he's pretty a skilled he's 12 o'clock like he's upstairs like, <laughs> like what he's like number one bro yeah he's unbeatable <laughs> yeah i know how you feel though i used to i made a couple of like in real life writing videos back in the day the oh, gopro hero 2 same <laughs> dude the thing was a brick did you guys ever have like a... that one i had the one i had oh like the God. og that's even worse yeah it was so heavy it made your helmet like topple over <laughs> <laughs> so funny yeah Poor camera quality. It was just not a good camera. Oh, it was fun though. Yeah, it was fun because like, what do you have? Like, well, for me, it was fun because with the hero, oh. I only had like my iPod, <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't even have a camera, you know. So I was like, yeah, Whoa. yeah, that's true. That was, do you like, recall um, Alex having a sweet video that Brock recorded back in the day? <gasps> oh shit! Don't. <laughs> What? I know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. The um, yeah. Smackdown. A, yeah, the WWE. Smackdown. God dang it. Like John Cena. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. They don't know. If you guys don't know, I I was on Derek Hallman. Okay. Pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> Not for a good reason. Not though. for a good reason. <laughs> He's in the crash completion. Let's just keep it that I way. I am. Yeah, if you guys find it. Oh, man. you're yeah. Um, it's out there for sure. Go to Brock Vlogs. Don't, don't fucking. <laughs> and then click on the thumbnail where Alex is doing like the biggest boner air of all time. And then it says, uh oh, in all caps, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> and it'll Super be in there. Click baby. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's like my was... most viewed Insta clip. Oh, it's on my Instagram. You're freaking welcome. Guys, check that kid. out. Check out my Instagram, Brock underscore chips. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it, it was funny. I mean,. I I wasn't like new to writing, I don't think. Um, but like No. <laughs> it was just weird like how it happened. Like I got kind of like it kind of kicked at the top and uh, yeah, I just couldn't hold on to it. So I was like I just boner aired it and just it like the back landed and it catapulted me forward. <laughs> it was so funny. I slid for like 20 feet. It's like I was like, "Oh." No. <laughs> what a classic. You just slayed those rollers. Did you just see that? Yeah, that was pretty oh, good. Oh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, I freaking was like fifth wide through those. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> Man. 
Uh, but yeah, go go watch Alex fall. Please don't. Um, <laughs> Top quality. We've all Shot wadded. Go, We've all wadded. That one just happened yeah. to be on camera. <laughs> which is <laughs> which is awesome. No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Alex, even the best wad, so I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, yeah even Graham Jarvis. Yes, he crashes all the time. Even well, though he's ugly. Everyone does. I mean, look at James, <laughs> look at James Stewart. <laughs> Apparently to you. I've never seen his face. No, I've never know. seen him either. You guys not follow him on like Instagram? No. I used to watch his I videos see. on like Facebook and stuff. Yeah, he's always There's... got his picture of his face on Instagram. Oh. Uh, <laughs> like I, I see him like in Trans World or something when they feature cool. like something cool, but that's Oh it. yeah. That's all I got on him. But yeah. Anyway, <laughs> what we were gonna talk about YouTubers that suck. So starting it off, uh, Simbros, have you seen their videos? Like, holy shit. Yeah. Trash. Trash. Just to preface <laughs> this, we know we're not a big YouTube channel, and so we can kind of like make fun of bigger ones. Because not really, they're more they're, successful. They're successful. That's why we can't make fun of them. No, but nobody's going to see this and then go to their channel and crap on them, you know? But if it's the other way around. Uh, that's true. Like if Ethan you know, was like, God, Simbros suck. Like, do you know how many people would like? <laughs> <laughs> We'd have to quit YouTube and like move Yeah, I could send like, like all 85 of my subs over to each one of your videos and just have them all like dislike it. <laughs> you can't dox us. Don't you <laughs> dare. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like 85. post our, ad- our address to where we live. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, just people just start showing up. Us. Like, dude, we love Ethan. Oh, <laughs> then he gets like ten thousand subs in a day now. <laughs> World star. Dude, I remember like back in the day, me and Alex were talking about like just starting like a fake moto fight, kind of like oh, crazy. Yeah. And uh, what's his name? Pike. It's like oh, dude, yeah. but like at Prairie City to start. Fighting <laughs> it would be so funny. Well, it'd be like, like it'd be like Amsonator. two goons at Prairie City practice track. Yeah, exactly. That would be <laughs> so lit. <laughs> like that's your, that'd be your title right there. It'd be, dude. It would get so many views. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cross fights. That's actually a really common like searched video. Dude, yeah, they get a lot of views for those. And it's just people like punching each other in the helmets. It's like, yeah, you know, it's totally working. Like it, it has to do more damage to the, the hands. Yeah, hands. the offender than the defender. Like, <laughs> you know, like punch him in the chest or something where he doesn't have anything. Punch him in the shoulder, the neck. <laughs> yeah, the tip. <laughs> like I saw anything really. <laughs> the boots, the dude, oh man. Oh, the boot to the tip. Oh man, just the, the steel toe. <laughs> <laughs> But like um, and a roundhouse, oh my god! <laughs> I saw this Scottish guy like rage at this guy, and this guy in a car gets out and like starts punching him in the helmet. And he's like, "Fucking <laughs> wanka, like punching me in a helmet! What a dummy and stuff." It was so freaking funny, like the way that he was just saying, "Oh man, it was classic." <laughs> like I used to love those like road rage like bike videos, and now they're yeah, like, I was just yeah, watching like, one yes, dude. They're hard to watch. <laughs> Oh, um, like I watched one where some guy threw like his soda at a guy on a street bike, like out the window, and he's like Ooh. flipping him off, and then the and then just clip cuts to a clip of the guy picking up a rock, Ooh. like slowing down, picking up a rock, and then he just goes by and just hits his window and shatters his driver's side window, and dude, rips away. So classic. <laughs> Serves him right. This is so funny. <laughs> oh, look at us all. Your you're plugging up the drain dude yeah. <laughs> what's actually i have a good idea what's your guys's like favorite youtube videos to watch oh jeez. like do you I have one in mind <laughs> yeah give us an example uh i mean like there's so many different like criterias yeah YouTube. like is there anybody that you just sit down and watch like religiously yeah simbros like, you know <laughs> okay. Hey, I I know those guys are. They're okay. very strong fan base. I am their fan base. <laughs> I just one. I am the fan base. Party of one. Um, I really like uh, H three H three. 
productions. Like I think mm-hmm. Sam. Like some of his like editing is just like genius. Like, did you see the uh the gamer gear one? Yeah. <laughs> Where he's like, even though it doesn't really and then fit, and then he just like cuts it together so well. I'm like, dude, this guy's a legend. Do you this see is... like the hundred beanies? Yeah. He has like the the stick sticking up and he's like putting them on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he walks up to the cop. He's like, is this a viol-? Like, all well, the cops yelling at some guy with a drone. That's a violation of airspace. And he walks right up to him. Just, is this a violation of airspace? He's got like a 10-foot beanie hanging off his head. So funny. So good. Oh, yeah. Man, I don't, I don't really know, though. Because like him, like I wish he uploaded more, but I know it's probably pretty tough to upload frequently doing like what he does. Yeah, it's... You know... His are like productions, basically. Yeah, not only that, he has to like pray that someone like is stupid or, you know, does something dumb. Like with the whole thing with Humongous, you know? Like if that never happened, uh, yeah. like, do you know how many subscribers he probably got just from those videos? <laughs> yeah. I know, that was like, so sick. Those are like my favorite episodes. Yeah. And then he had him on the podcast and stuff. That was super cool. But I yeah, don't know. that was so rad. Ethan, what about you? Uh, <laughs> definitely the writing videos. Like, yeah, it's like checking out, watching people eat crap on the motocross tracks. It's pretty entertaining. I actually, Moto watch... Madness. Oh like, yeah, you know, like watching like stuff like Alex does. You know, <laughs> and they they're ripping, and then just they crash. It's like my favorite thing. Cool. Oh. Man. The best ones are like when guys are actually really good, but like they get kicked off a jump or something, you know? Oh, yeah. Like I can't stand the one where they're riding through the woods and they run to a tree. It's like, okay, that's like every other, you know, GoPro video. Like, ho, ho, that's hilarious. Hit a tree, bro. <laughs> yeah. But like when somebody lands on somebody, it's like, oh my God, that's like, those are the gnarly ones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, definitely. There was that one trail video where the guy's just ripping. I think it was up in the trees. And, like, he takes a branch to his freaking face. And it was just, like, impaled into his face. I saw that. Dude, it was, like, through his cheek? Disgusting, yeah. There was one through a guy's boot, too. I saw oh, that yeah. one, too. It was Oh, nuts. my gosh. I was like, ah. Oh. That's why you ride the track, boy. Did you, like, yeah. hear that guy? They had the, he, like, severed an artery. Yeah, it was bleeding like crazy. Like, his Which bike one was, was that? The one in the leg? Yeah. Yeah, when he, um, when he got that sick through his shin and they rode back oh, he like severed dude. a main artery or like something like that it's crazy yeah there's like blood all over the side of his bike yeah oh my god it was crazy yeah there's definitely some moments i wish i got on camera that were like off camera it's like all the good stuff happens when i know i'm like camera rolling dude i know like i think everyone experiences that and or like I don't know about you guys, but like every time I'd wear a GoPro, like something bad would happen. You know, it's like the total <laughs> opposite for me. Really? Yeah. I'm, like I think I told you how my buddy like wrecked fifth gear wide open wheelie and just like went all the way over and broke his oh wrist. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was so bad. Like we were about an hour away from a hospital, and like if he actually like would have separated some like arteries there, he would have been dead. He would have been toasted. Yeah. Yeah, holy cow. Good thing he's all right. <laughs> Good to rip another day. <laughs> Not the next or... day, but a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or the next one after that. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, maybe like, I don't know, people that I watch. Uh, I can't really think of it. I used to watch like a lot of OG YouTube stuff. PewDiePie. Like way back in the day, like um Casim G. If you don't know who Casim G is, then I feel bad for you. I I I don't. I don't oh my either. gosh. <laughs> you say OG. Uh, PewDiePie's OG. Like I used to watch him when I was a kid. I know, but I mean just saying Casim has <laughs> some good stuff. What type uh, of content does he roll out? Retarded policeman. Do you guys know that one? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh my god. It's so the funny. retarded policeman. That's me. Yeah, hey. so freaking funny. 
<laughs> um, I don't know. There's, I think Kasim G he just came out with like a Bigfoot special. <laughs> I was like crying, laughing. Like if you don't know his buddy Ron and stuff, like Jesus Christ, it's too classic. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! All right, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know anybody else that I like watch religiously. Cause I I hate like people like Roman Atwood and uh, oh yeah, that kind of crap where it's like Joey Salads, Tanner Fox, where it just every thumbnail is like broke up with my girlfriend, gone wrong in the hood, and then it just it's like nothing <laughs> fucking happens. It has like six million views. It's like kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I mean, he just vlogged like going and buying his mom a new car, and then he just like complained about how bad his life is now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's like, God, I have so much editing to do. It's like, okay, well, I'm sitting in class. Like, have fun freaking making videos and driving GTRs, you piece of shit. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Dude, I can't stand that guy, but recently I found out that my cousin's, like, in love with him. Uh, there's, I know like, there's people we're that not, buy we're not related his, anymore. his shirts and <laughs> stuff, and I'm like, kill yourself, dude. Like, Please. <laughs> like people uh, at the skate park they have like his signature scooter wheels and craps like just please crawl in a hole and just die thank you <laughs> doesn't even scooter anymore right I know exactly like what the hell what got him famous anyways like what did he do scooter it was, the scooter was it the scooter Jeez. yeah him, like ha- all of his videos used to be like just skate park vlogs <laughs> The good old days. That's why it's so popular. He's so popular. Man. <sighs> Whoever knew that riding a little scooter was going to let you get a GTR in life. Yeah, I know. Unless his parents are just like super rich and just bought him the GTR. Mm, bought him no. the scooter. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> bought him the scooter. <laughs> yeah. Man. Um, I don't know what else to talk about, really. Um, well, how's this weather we're having, guys? <laughs> real, real smoky. Pretty chill. <laughs> yeah. You get that uh, lot new latte at Starbucks? The pumpkin spice. <laughs> I don't get the big deal about pumpkin spice. Dude, have you that? had it? It's disgusting. Seriously? I hate it. You think it'd be so good because everyone loves it? It has way too much hype. The only <laughs> way I'd like it is if big. somebody bought it for me. I'm not gonna buy that shit with my own money. <laughs> yeah it's like all out <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> like go fund me go fund me for, for a pumpkin, for a pumpkin spice, spice latte <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i do like pumpkin <laughs> flavor like though six. does it taste yeah, well, like me pumpkin? Too. It, it is not like it's oh uh, the barista like just totally screwed it up for me but it tasted like trash probably you have to yeah, be she's like filling it up with really something basic to like it yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty basic. Yeah, we know. No, I I love coffee though. <laughs> well, so do yeah, I. We I know. Like that's a completely different drink there. That's true. Yeah, girls are like, yeah, I like love you can't coffee. even taste coffee. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, exactly. They're like, I love coffee. Uh, can I have a caramel macchiato with uh, extra chocolate and whipped cream? It's like that's not fucking coffee, like <laughs> <laughs> a frappuccino or something. Yeah. It's like a thousand calories per drink. <laughs> Seriously, it's like insane. Yeah. It's like it's like a breakfast a shot. Oh my god. Yeah. Dude, I've yet to find like a decent coffee shop around me though. You know, like have you tried eat? the bean barn? The bean barn? The bean where's barn. that? <laughs> where's that? Yeah, dude. Is it good? It's like a little shack uh off of Missouri Flat. Yeah, like you know Casper's muffler? Yeah. It's like right across from there. It's like this little shack, and it's it's pretty bomb. Really? I'll yeah. Give that a go. The Bean Barn is sick. <laughs> That's a cool name. <laughs> is it actually a barn though? It's like you know, uh, like the storage sheds, like the wood ones with one door into it. Yeah, like a tough shed, pretty much. Yeah, it's like that, except it has like a drive-through window. Yo. Yeah, it's pretty sick. <laughs> it's, it's just one person working there, like sick. Hmm. Man. Yeah. yeah, we should try that. Well, there was. I'll, I'll freaking. I'll take you, Alex. We'll we'll All go. Right. Thank you. All right. <laughs> well, there's the been barn, guys. two places that like stood out to me, like coffee wise, and one of them was called Coffeeville, and that was in Santa Cruz, 
and it was so good. <laughs> but that guy was like coffee diehard, and then there was one in San Jose that was really good. I forget the Ooh. name of it. It started with a V, but that one was really good. Huh. Yeah. I'm not like much of a coffee guy, like snob. I'm a coffee snob. <laughs> it's important like, to me. You just drink it black? No. I drink it with oh. milk, but like, if You're it doesn't taste right, it's different. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't like <laughs> shitty coffee. It tastes bad. I, whoa, I whoa. actually put like, a little <laughs> bit of creamer in there. A little dab of creamer and we're good. Yeah. Not over. Okay, for like fast food coffee though, I've been getting like Chick fil A. Yeah, that stuff is pretty good. Really? Yeah. If you ever just need some like need a little bit of amp up while you're in town. Chick fil A. <laughs> you know. The problem sponsor with Chick- of this video. You're making it sound like you're you're selling like drugs or something. Chick fil A like, like crack. wink, you know. It is crack. If you if you're ever in the side of town, kids, I'll hook you up. <laughs> Chick fil A. Come to Chick fil A. It will be crack in your coffee, kids. I'll be in the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> just chilling <laughs> <laughs> but oh. dude it's always so crowded at chick-fil-a like we're so like oh go like 8 a.m in the morning <laughs> <laughs> like yeah seriously we're like oh let's try some chick-fil-a and then it's always literally not even as bad as in and out that's crazy you want to know something that's really pathetic what uh chick-fil-a on the east coast is so much better than it is on the west coast really I don't know why, but like the quality out here just sucks compared to the East Coast. Oh, yeah, and like some of the things you just can't order either. What? Yeah. Well, I don't really care because I don't like Chick Fil A. So. Do you not know like chicken? You see beef? How could you? <laughs> I've eaten there twice, and it was it was okay. It wasn't like insane, you know. But now I guess if I ever go yeah, to the East Coast, uh, I'll give it a go. Yeah. Just make sure you get some Chick Fil A sauce and like rub dub dub that on your uh, chicken. <laughs> all right, sounds good. <laughs> that, that did not sound weird at all. Rub dub dub on the chicken. <laughs> on your chicken. God, everyone's on the ground. Trust me. <laughs> I trust you. Thank you. What do you usually remember... order, like when you go to In and Out? Oh, In and Out. Yeah, dude, you gotta get like a double double or a triple triple, like a three by three. Double double for sure. Yeah, same. <laughs> you usually get like animal style. If I'm in the mood. Nope. Yeah, I can't do it. It's too much onion. It's not too much. It's just a lot of grease and calories. <laughs> oh, I dig the grease, but I'm like, mm, those onions. Mm. I want to be in like <laughs> a digestive coma for like four weeks. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> not that on fun. top of some like animal style fries, you're. You're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Brock, what were you saying? I think I cut you off a bit. Oh, shit. Uh, I forgot. Oh, like, do you like onions on your... Wait, not onions. Uh, Freaking tomato on your burger? Heck no. Thank you. Dude, see, that's... Why do they have onion or freaking tomatoes on there if, like, nobody likes them? I don't know one person that's like, ooh, yeah, I want tomato on my burger. My brother does it, but, like, he's a little weird, so... <laughs> I'll let it fly. Like I get like the grilled <laughs> onions, no tomato, and it's a freaking bomb burger. Yeah, I've been starting to do you... grilled onions as well. Those are so yeah, that's good. how you do it. I can't stand oh. tomatoes like in anything. Like I'll eat me either like, spaghetti, <laughs> but that's like mush potatoes. I mean tomatoes. <laughs> so, <laughs> speaking of which, mush potatoes are so good. Like, oh my god. You mean mashed potatoes? Mushed. Mushed potatoes. <laughs> mushed potatoes? No, mushed potatoes. Mush? So what, what do you is call that? Them? What kind like, of you covert boil, are you? You using? boil the potatoes and then you mush them and then you put salt and pepper and butter in there. That's mashed potatoes. That's cream. mashed potatoes. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you guys have been missing out. It's called mushed potatoes. I'm going to come over to your house I'm going to write it on your forehead that it's mashed potatoes. Okay. This is going to drive the crowd crazy. There's going to be a debate in the comment section. Mush it's mashed. mashed. Mush Definitely mashed. mashed. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well call them like smushed potatoes. 
Well, that's what you're doing to them. You're smushing them. Well, then why don't you call them that? They're mush potatoes. (laughs) Where? I feel like you're coming from, like, a different country. Yeah. You know how, like, Canada says weird stuff? Like what? That's like what? That's on this level. I don't know. I don't have a prime example right now. <laughs> Man, dialect. Speaking of that, like dialects are funny. You know, like I saw a video and it showed like different states and like what they'd say. You know, soda pop. Like, yeah, like where does it? Where does the line? Where's the line drawn? You know, between soda and pop. Like, <laughs> you know, it's funny. I mean, like, there's never, like, pop on the label. It's always, like, labeled as soda. <laughs> so I yeah. draw the line right there. But then when they say soda pop. Like oh, Ethan. A little, it's a little much. Unless, like, Ethan from H3H3 saying it, then it's classic. But What's well, funny when yeah, he says crazy. it? He's like, my soda pop. I'm like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> do you see the one where they're like trying all the different flavors soda and they have like ranch soda and like corn yeah oh, that's nasty. disgusting oh yeah it was gross we should do that for a video Ooh, I'm oh, down man. there's that candy shop on uh, down what? like downtown Placerville they have all those sodas really Ooh. yeah I'd be down I taste yeah, bacon, test sodas. ranch, oh, corn. Oh, God. That's nasty. Yeah, it's get like the bacon. ranch soda with some, like, what do they call it, carrots? <laughs> buffalo <laughs> wing. There's, they have buffalo wing flavor, so maybe you take a swig of the wing soda, and then you take a swig of the ranch soda. Oh, Dude, man. now we're talking. This is genius. <laughs> That's nasty. I like buffalo wings. Oh, it's out there. You won't even know until you try it. So. I don't want a soda to ruin them for me. <laughs> You know, be like, oh, I can't eat buffalo wings now. Oh, well, buffalo wings and like artificial buffalo wing soda are two completely different things. Yeah, but you've heard of people like, oh, I used to love like artificial banana, but now I just can't even like it's nasty. You know? Really? Yeah. Or like, I can't stand like artificial watermelon. Like that, I just, uh, I hate it. You can't. Yeah, like even candy. Yeah, I like candy watermelon flavor stuff. I hate it. Dude, I love that. Yeah, same Seriously, here. it's so gross to me. Like those sour like gummies you can get at AMPM. Those are bombs. Ooh, no. or like sour patch watermelon. Ugh. I like I like peach rings. Those are good. Those but, are good. Like watermelon flavor candy or like I just can't do it, dude. It's nasty. We should get a video of you just eating that because. You- cringing the whole time oh no awesome. it's like like i want to like uh like grit my teeth you know it's so gross <laughs> uh yeah it's weird but like especially like the jolly rancher ones Ugh. i'm not a big jolly really? rancher fan really uh, i like the I blue know. ones <laughs> they're all right it's kind of like <laughs> chocolate i don't really like chocolate what? <laughs> you, Unless it's in like a pie or something or like a cake. I just don't want to eat like straight Hershey chocolate. Ugh. Seriously? Gross. Why don't you like it? You're weird. Okay, like I can handle dark chocolate, but oh, okay. The milk stuff? No. No. I kind of weird. I kind of see that. I've run like, into multiple people who are the same way too. Just like they can eat dark chocolate, but the milk stuff's just like kind of gross to them do you like the really dark chocolate like 80 percent, like 90 yeah about 80 percent. if i go up yeah. to 90 that's just straight disgusting it's charcoal well, like, <laughs> it's charcoal yeah. Yeah. i can't do that white the white chocolate really i uh, love white chocolate yeah. it's kind of weird like i don't know it's like a weird aftertaste and stuff the ones i've had mm-hmm. it's just kind of different it's a little funky I'll eat vanilla all day, though. <laughs> yeah. Like plain That's vanilla That's like my ice favorite cream. ice cream. Oh, it's so good. Ethan, what's your, your favorite, favorite ice cream? It's my favorite, uh, for sure. I know, oh, yeah. yeah. It's definitely vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla yes. Nash. Heck yeah. I really like cookies and cream. <laughs> cookies and cream, dog. Cookies and cream is really? good, too. Yeah. yeah. Or I'm like a mint chocolate chip. Oh, yeah. 
I think that that's pretty too. bomb. Ooh. Yeah, it's a classic. I used to have that one when I was really little all the time. And, oh, I went to this like uh, milkshake place and like they'd make it and it was so good because like they'd make oh, it out yeah. of the mint chocolate chip and then all the chocolate chips would like fall to the bottom. So at the bottom, you just had a bunch of like chocolate chips to eat. It was so cool. <laughs> that's like at Mel's, right? They do that? Really? I've, yeah, I've only been to Mel's once and I was like seven or eight. We should go. It's pretty bomb. Like their shakes, they uh, like they're legit just milk and ice cream, mm. and then they give you like the huge glass, but then you get like an extra one on the side of like the extra from the blender, so it's like a one and a half. Yo, so Heck. it's like it's super sick. It's, it comes in like a metal tin cup, baller. <laughs> Dang. Oh, the yeah, the metal cups. I know those. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're talking about making like a a yogurt business. You know, they me and Alex run a yogurt shop. Was that serious or like are we just like oh <laughs> how hard so can cool. it be, like, you know? It can't be that hard. There was but, a yogurt business up here, but they went out of business. That's what I see most of the time with yogurt shops. Like honestly, yeah. unless you're like top of the line, like good and in a great spot, like you're gonna freaking go under. And you have sick Wi Fi and you have sick employees. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. Cool. I'm not investing in that. You probably have better luck, like in a coffee shop or something. Yeah, seriously, like Hell a cafe. No. And then you like compete with Starbucks on pricing. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Practice. But here's the thing with yogurt. Like, I think you just get it out of the package and you just get the flavors. It's like boom, nobody complains about it. But like, you know how particular everybody is. Right. Like a coffee shop, like everybody be like critiquing you with their <laughs> pinky up, like, oh, they didn't have this or this. You know, like it would be. Like yogurt, it's like you just dump it and freaking weigh it and you're on your way. Put those toppings on. You know that one place in I the guess. Palladio um, in Folsom? Uh, What's that place called? Pinkberry? It's a yogurt shop. Yeah, Pink It's like Berry. Pinkberry, yeah. Dude, that place is legit. And they only have like three flavors. Really? Oh, yeah, they only have three business. machines. Yeah, it's crazy. Huh. They're just rolling in the dough. <laughs> I've eaten a few places that wasn't that good. Like I ate at one, and they're out of business now. But uh, mm, rad. Like you, you do the thing, and it's just straight liquid. It's like really, like oh, you have disgusting. You're just totally oblivious to like the state of your yogurt. Like how are you? You own the store. Like that's so funny. There's one up in uh, at North Star, and like it was pretty cool. But then they made half of it like a waffle shop. And so, like, half the square feet's gone. So now it's like you walk down, like, a five-foot aisle and then turn left, and then you got another five-foot aisle. <laughs> and it's like a heat box because, like, the waffle shop's there. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it's just it's trash. It's terrible. Don't go there. <laughs> and then there's always, like, some foreign guy there because they always, like, stick him. Like, where can we put him that's, like, the easiest? <laughs> and, then, and then he's always at, like, the register, and he says, like, 20... <laughs> but some you, have, you hand him your money and you just like okay bye <laughs> like it's like where can we put this guy you can't even like can't even say like hello my name is <laughs> you know it's so funny they always just put like the the chinese dude there <laughs> yeah oh, man. yeah that's pretty funny like that guy at the gas station on the way to uh he, he spoke english though on the way to east street like we'd stop at the gas station. That guy was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> you remember him? Uh, I don't know. What did he look like? Uh, I think he was like Indian or something. Very generic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those, gotta, all those Indians. You just got to believe me. He's, he's a funny dude. Or the, now, what was the, funny about him, though? The guy at... Uh, He's Indian. That's uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the, Come on. What's the Mexican restaurant that we ate at with the, the guy with the toupee? Oh, Kalina. Yeah. Hola, amigo. See you, like, tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> so funny. Like, I'm never Memorable. coming here again. <laughs> yeah, that burrito sucked ass. And it was no taqueria status. It was not Taqueria status. It wasn't even up to like 
par. Yeah. At all. Oh. <laughs> disgusting. Disgrace. Straight disgrace. Yeah, it was and it was like twelve dollars too for a freaking nasty ass burrito. I know. Yeah. Oh. Oh uh, yeah. no, we're dead. Oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll get him next time. <laughs> so Alex says every time we're on PUBG. <laughs> we'll get him next time. Yeah. Should I need to get that? Dude, you need you honestly should buy it. Should I get that today? Yes. Heck yeah. Okay, sick. Yo. Radical. <laughs> Radical. <laughs> How are you with like first person shooters? I suck ass. We'll, we'll train you. We'll train you. Isn't it third person? It's both now. Mm. You can switch. Uh, but we'll start in third person because those the people that play third are noobs. <laughs> you got to switch it to the Asian oh, servers yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. They're like they're trash. They're all speaking like Chinese or like Korean or whatever, and we're like America. <laughs> so like we'll kill somebody, and they're like, oh no, and then we're like America, <laughs> like get out of the way, the Americans are here. They're like, oh, America. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so, like, speaking like Cantonese and stuff, like, me hello. Yeah, exactly. Seriously, though. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, Ethan killed one, and, and then he was like yelling at him in Chinese. <laughs> it's so funny. He was so, so mad. mad. But you can't tell what they're saying to you because they're just yelling in like Chinese or something. They sound <laughs> really angry, too. I know he sounded pissed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! But he like God. start talking really fast or something. Yeah, he he was he was. They rapping. get loud and they start talking fast. <laughs> Those Dude. are the telltale signs of Chinese in the wild. <laughs> Speaking of Chinese, like there's a really good like market to eat at, off of uh, the corner of Green Valley and. Uh, the Folsom Dam crossing. Mm. Have you been uh, there? That's, you're not ringing any bells. It's yeah, a, it's nah. called it's called Ninety Nine Ranch, and they don't speak like English. It's so good. Like you walk in, and there's like these like pigs hanging up that are like roasting. They oh, got, like, now you know it's legit. Yeah, they got like whole ducks and stuff, and you're like, oh my god! And they have like hot walk, and it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, super funny. I went, uh, while I was in Maryland, I went and got a haircut at this place. I was like, oh, yeah, the reviews are pretty good on Yelp, so I cruised on in. It was like nobody speaks English in there, and they're all, like, Vietnamese. Really? I kid you not. It was, like, one of my sickest haircuts I've ever had. That's tight. <laughs> and I didn't have to talk either because I, like, hate talking to the hairstylist. Oh, I hate that, too. It's, like, always so awkward. They're like, oh, how's your day? But, like, they just... They don't know how to say that, so they just, you know, they're just kind of like watching <laughs> soccer on the TV. Yeah, it's usually pretty awkward for me because I like start out and I'm like pretty talkative. I'm like, yeah, how was your day? I'm like, oh, it was good. Like, I I did this. I'm like, how was your day? And they're like, it's good. And then, and then just there's nothing the rest of the time. I'm just like, oh you my just, gosh. You can't blow all your conversation topics at once. I didn't. Right. You I said what I did, and then ask them how you always said two senses. <laughs> well, let's say, like, how long have you been cutting hair or something? Oh. <laughs> well, like, it depends if, like, the hairstylist is cute, too. I mean, like, she's cute. Or he's, like, an 80-year-old man. More. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just, like, you just want to sit there, and it's, like, get your hair cut done. Oh, At I the was... Vietnamese place, like, was... how did you communicate that you wanted, okay. like, a certain hair did you have to like point at a picture kind of, it's kind of fun yeah they have this poster on there it's like which one do you want they like kind of point towards it you're like i want that one <laughs> <laughs> that one <laughs> and then like on the way out there's like uh they just point to like how much money it is <laughs> it's like eight hundred dollar it was like 12 bucks dude it wasn't like too bad oh that's really good so you looked yeah. so good <laughs> i was like styling <laughs> have you ever gotten a bad haircut dude i've gotten so many bad haircuts oh my gosh great but the clips. worst one Shout out oh yeah it's really <laughs> great clips. Dude, never. i go there all the time though really i can't go yeah. there dude they mess up my hair way too bad yeah just, yeah they're terrible but the you worst gotta one head, so you gotta get just right <laughs> <laughs> oh man like i, I have just... i have 
two cowlicks <laughs> on the back of my head. And so, Same. Yeah, and they come up to a point, and then the lady didn't cut it right, and I she literally gave me like a mini mullet. I was like, are you kidding me? So I just shaved my whole head at home. I was like, this is dumb. It was, it was ridiculous. It was right at the beginning of summer. I like, uh, shaved my head, yeah. Yeah, my dad gave me the worst haircut I've ever had. It was like in third grade. I was like, I was so embarrassed about how bad it was. I just wore a hat every day until my hair grew back. There you go. But you don't want to like... third grader. He's a, got a lot of feelings. <laughs> Oh, I let him know. I was like, I freaking hate this haircut. You're like, this is shit. I still do him crap about it. <laughs> the thing is, like, he uh, he does his hair like all the time too. Like, he has oh, his own really? hair, but he's like, he's bald, so he has to like trim like three pieces of hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he's got like a soul patch, but like right on the back of his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah, funny. you know how it is. <laughs> yeah, oh, from like, first hand experience. First day. I've I was wondering it. what it would be like to be bald. Hmm. You look like Howie Mandel. You just get like sunburned <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody tells my dad that he looks like Bruce Willis though. Really? So that's kind of plus. <laughs> Does he look like Bruce Willis? Yeah, well he's never happy. So like he always has that like stank face going. <laughs> he's just like that's sick. Unless like you're like talking to him and making him laugh, he always has like a like a really like stank face, which is just like Bruce Willis. Yeah, and they're both bald, so <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Good old pops. I've been told I look like John Krasinski. Do you guys know who that is? Uh, no. He was uh, Jim from The Office. Oh yeah, yeah. I can kind of actually see that if you like grew out your hair a little bit more. You look yeah. like Dwight from The Office, dude. dude. Fuck off. That's not what they're talking about. <laughs> God dang it. You look like John Malkovich. Nah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> no, man. I don't even know who that freaking is. The ugly guy okay. in every movie, like, ever. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. He dude, was you look like uh... straight up Mr. Bean. <laughs> 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 Mr. Bean. God, I love that movie. <laughs> Dude, he had a Bugatti. Did you know that? He has Did a he movie? Really? What? He has a movie? No, a Bugatti. No, I mean, like, Mr. Bean. There's a Mr. Bean movie? Yeah, Mr. Bean's Holiday. You didn't see that? No, I've just seen, like, his internet clips and stuff. His name's Rowan Atkinson. Yeah, he's been in, like, a, a spy movie. Um, I forget what it's called, but he's been in that, and then he's been in... <laughs> but it was great. <laughs> it was. He's been in Mr. Bean's <laughs> Holiday, and then yeah, all his internet stuff is just hilarious. Hmm, dude, I'm telling you, Mr. Bean's Holiday is the best. Does he movie talk ever. at all in there? Kind of, not really, actually. He's a very mute person. Yeah, that's <laughs> weird. He's big on gestures. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's so funny. He's like one of those guys if you saw like in a dark alley, he's like, you definitely walk the other way. <laughs> You're like, that yeah. guy's straight up pedophile. No, I'd be like, that guy's Mr. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mr. Bean. <laughs> Bean. 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 I love you. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Oh. Oh, rest in peace. Man, we're all on the ground, like, always at the same time. It's funny. <laughs> oh, my God, we're so in sync. <laughs> Man. We all think alike, except for when it comes to, like, watermelon candy. Yeah, dude, and we yeah, all yeah, crash yeah. alike. That's the important part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to get you a huge bag of watermelon candy. I'll just re-gift it to <laughs> Ethan. Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Keep the chain going. <laughs> Man, what else is there to talk about? Ethan, do you have any good good motocross wads? Uh wads. No, not a motocross. Or just like, riding I eat in general. Crap in the corners, but not that, on that's not pretty on common. Jobs. <laughs> um enduro wise. 
I've had a few good spills. One of them, uh, have you guys ever heard of uh, Carnegie? Yeah. I haven't ridden it's there, like, but I've heard of it. It's probably got like the steepest hills I've ever ridden on my life. It's just all hill climbs. Oh, wow. And, uh, you know, I go with two kind of like newbie riders. So they're like, oh, dude, do something cool. Like, you know, like the whole time. <laughs> So I see this, like, one steep-ass hill. Like, it was huge. And, like, oh. I was like, I'm just going to hit it, you know? I'm just going to send it. Shout out to <laughs> that one guy. I can't remember what his name is. Larry. Uh, Larry and Tyson. Shout out yes, to Larry. Dude. Shout out to Larry. <laughs> he taught me everything I know. But uh, oh. <laughs> I went up the hill, and it's kind of like a V, the trail. And, uh, well, the engine kind of died and I slid backwards. Oh. Good. 40 <laughs> feet down the hill, probably going like 35 miles per hour backwards. Oh, my God. I didn't eat crap, though, but I went off to the side and didn't break anything, luckily. That's good. It was so scary, though. Oh, my gosh. Dang. I wiped out three times that day. I've had those days where you just can't do anything right. <laughs> should like, totally hit up Carnegie one day so you can see what I'm talking about. I don't know. I don't want to die. Dude, no. It's well, all yeah, good. Yeah, what he's going to ride? <laughs> I have two other bikes, bro. <laughs> I'll take the KTM. No, you're getting the 230, Alex. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I'm a 230 veteran, though. I know. This one's heavy, though. It has uh, the license plate on it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you can mob That's... the streets and then go hit the... <laughs> the sand That's all in awesome. one day. You can make a 230 street legal. Dude, I had a 185 that was street legal. Groms are street legal. Yeah, Groms are street well, legal. Well, I know, but like, like you can't make a 110 street legal here. What's their right? top speed? Uh, like 30? You can do it in like Michigan. Yeah. That's sick. In like states like Indiana and that kind of stuff. The fun their states. top speed, you can re gear them so they go like 40 ish, 45. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. But they really, they're they really slow. They would totally suck, though. Like, off the like, stop signs and stuff, you'd be going, like, super uh, yeah. slow. Because they have three gears. Except <laughs> the, old, the old ones, do. Yeah. It'd be pretty funny. <laughs> It'd be fun. Well, that 230 only gets up to, like, 50. That's, like, the max speed on it. That's, like, how fast a Grom is. I think 55-ish is, like, Grom speed. Mm hmm Yeah. Somewhere yeah, it's got a lot of torque, though. I can pull some fat wheelies in first gear. Heck yeah. <laughs> in first gear. <laughs> you're not living All unless good. you're scraping, man. Dude, yeah. I scraped, but I fell over, but I mean, you know, it counts. <laughs> scraped the back and then my head, and then I scraped the side of the bike and all this. When you put a license plate on the bike, you can scrape so much easier. Oh, wow. Uh... It's like a whole uh... other, like, three inches. Uh oh, god dang it. <laughs> yeah, if you want to see how to scrape, just watch Cody's video. Exactly. Yeah, Have you seen it? That's so baller. Have I seen it? Yeah. Yeah, oh, one time yeah. really is. Oh yeah. my gosh, that's such a good video. Dude, I remember us going to like Prairie City one day and all like Brock and his brother brought were the the one tens. <laughs> yeah. And they're just doing wheelies on like the main drag and then <laughs> on the track too. They're, just... <laughs> they're like going faster than people on like 250s and 450s on the little 110s <laughs> yeah people suck so bad out there it's hilarious yeah i'm like the best part is i was like in t-shirt like the only thing i was wearing was a helmet yeah, and gloves like, yeah like, like i didn't even have boots on. like it was just classic yeah great legend. Sick. i think cody too he's like a baller because when he goes on the the road at prairie city he like looks around for like the park ranger guy and then he just does stand-up wheelies for like <laughs> like a half mile it's so funny like past the 50 track and everybody's looking <laughs> mm -hmm. so funny Dude, yeah i like doing wheelies but they're hella sketchy on like big bikes yeah they you get you can Ooh. get going like way faster than you want to mm -hmm. that's why i want to be like g-force jarvis bro and just cruise <laughs> a 300 at like two miles per hour <laughs> yeah. doing a wheelie Heck yeah. That's the ultimate goal right there. That would be so fun to be that good. Mm hmm Yeah, I have one buddy that can do that crap. He does like uh circle wheelies too. Jeez. His name's oh, Grant. Yeah. And um 
one day, like, there was, like, I think there was some type of race going on at Hangtown. We were just up at the top. He's just doing circle wheelies, and nobody was even watching the guys on the track. They were all just watching him wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> really, dude, I've never seen a circle wheelie before. That's incredible. Impressive. Screw this moto stuff. <laughs> Cody can do that on a on like a mountain bike. That's pretty sick. He pops it up. Like I can do it like maybe one time around, but Cody can go like three or four. Mm-hmm. Dang. <laughs> yeah, I can only do like a one eighty on a motorcycle right now, but. The whole reason why that guy can do 360s is because I told him, like, yeah, one day I'm going to be pulling 360 wheelies. And I kid you not, he I didn't see him for two months, and he was doing it perfectly. He was just training just to, like, show me up. Huh. I love Ooh, people like that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <sighs> Awkward silence. X Games. I'm like riding, dude. Uh, yeah, it's like you eating good food. You just have to like concentrate. <laughs> what? <laughs> you gotta concentrate. It really brings out the flavors. Yeah. You know, like those watermelon candies. Dude. I really want to think about how good they are. Uh, Alex thinks about how much he wants to throw up when he's eating those. <laughs> so nasty. I got it. I just. It doesn't taste anything like watermelon. Like it's not even enjoyable to me, you know. Like it's you gotta, breed. You gotta take it at how it is, Alex. Well, freaking, I can deal with like artificial grape and like artificial banana, but the watermelon just. Ugh. Like, what if we're in the wild and you had like drink your own pee and you're like, I don't really like artificial watermelon, so <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna like this very much. Alex versus the wild. Then I would survive because I'd pee in my mouth because I like artificial watermelon. And <laughs> Those are two totally different things. Like you, you could have, you could have said like, all we had to eat was artificial watermelon. Then, then I'd die. Why? It doesn't grow on trees, dude. Because it's artificial. Mm. You have to drink water to pee. Water's not I know, I'd have water in my system already. I'd just pee like three times in my mouth. There's already <laughs> water. <laughs> like, why are you drinking your pee? Because I gotta, the water's gotta get out. It's gotta come back in, and there's no water. You know? Okay. <laughs> Hypothetically, <laughs> I think eating something I don't like when I have to drink my own piss is gonna be a lot different. So. <laughs> Have you guys I seen think... the Bear Grylls videos? <laughs> yeah. Do you ever see the one where he's just straight up eating, oh no, drinking the water out of like an elephant crab? Yeah, I was yeah. about to say that. That is what so the hell. He just holds it gross. above his head, and just squeezes that bitch, and then he just, ah, and just. Yeah, you just can just literally baby. see little things of turds just like dropping into his mouth. Oh my god. Just what a legend. That's probably just some brownie mix that they whipped up the night before. <laughs> Yeah. Nobody will ever really set off this episode if I squeezed an elephant head and got the water out. What should I do this week? (laughs) Like, eat a bunch of maggots. (laughs) Like, okay. (laughs) Sick. That guy taught me everything I know about surviving. (laughs) He got me through Boy Scouts, bro. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. I didn't do Boy Scouts. Yeah, I was just going to say, I didn't do that. My dad probably disowned me if I did that. I was my parents made me do that. Really? Yeah, they made me go all the way. You're an Eagle yeah. Scout. I am. Yeah. Dang. That's. I wouldn't call it an honor, but all you know, kinds of knots, dude. <laughs> that is adorable. That is all kinds of knots. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of shameful about the whole thing. Really? But, I mean, I, like I had some good times and I had some bad times. Like I know. I have, like, a lot of stories I could tell people about, like, crap that happened and, like, how I would, like, just prank everybody I saw. But, um, I'd try yeah. to get kicked out. Oh, I, I, I should have. Yeah, I'd, I'd set stuff on fire and, like, that kind of stuff. Like, yeah. oops, I guess I'm not a good Eagle Scout. <laughs> oh, we did that anyways. Like, <laughs> one time we had, like, a campfire and this stupid kid... There's so many stupid kids in Boy Scouts, you know. <laughs> this kid brings like little shotgun primers, just <laughs> throwing them. 
fire. Oh like my scat matches, God. like they go off and they sound like freaking gunshots, right? And the freaking yeah. guy had no idea. He's just like, oh, it's just the fire, you know. He just Jeez. keeps on throwing them in. It's like, oh, this is so stupid. Jesus, that's like throwing a lighter into the fire. Everybody in Boy Scouts is freaking pyro, like pyromaniacs. That's so funny. Like, well, yeah, there's nothing to do. <laughs> like, yeah, it's if... gonna burn shit, and that's pretty much it. Like, if me and Alex were in there, and we both wanted out, I'd set Alex on fire, and then you set me on fire, and then I'd we're both out, because we're, we're burn victims. Yeah, you give me a hug. Yeah, you like, <laughs> and I'd be like, hug me. It'd be like the exactly. torch, like, when I light my torch, you just go like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just lean over a little bit, and then, <laughs> Or, like, the Spongebob episode, like, the the fry cook games, where, like, the guy, like, lights the thing, <laughs> and then he just combusts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, just like that. <laughs> just, just give me a hug. <laughs> Dude, fire some kids is, even oh threw man. like axe cans in the freaking fire. Oh my god. That was sketchy. Like, holy crap. So it was like, back up! There's an axe can in the fire! <laughs> Surprise! It's like straight up just shrapnel to fly <laughs> everywhere. I wouldn't tell anybody. I just kind of like casually toss that thing in there. <laughs> And you're freaking like, don't worry about it. Your scoutmaster no. goes to yeah. roast some marshmallows and just gets shrapnel to the brain. <laughs> God dang. His eyebrows just get singed off. <laughs> very funny. <laughs> that needs smell great, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Actually, yeah. They could smell terrible, though. Just straight up burnt axe. <laughs> like the rest of the campfire. Oh, you know, you gotta st- you have to sit next to it because it's keeping you warm. It's helping you survive, right? So you gotta yeah. smell that nasty freaking axe. Oof, the memories. Axe is Girl, nasty. No, do you know how me and Ethan met? Nope. Oh, it was it's pretty <laughs> random and funny. So, like, when I bought my two fifty, um. I bought it from some kid in Plymouth. Um, uh-huh. And then I was writing it and I posted a picture on Instagram or something like that. And then and then what happened? Like did you like comment like oh is that Perry City or something like that? Yeah, probably. I don't really remember. Yeah, and then he was like uh he's like did you did you buy that bike from What's his name? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, that's my friend. And it was like totally random that like he found my picture on Instagram. It sounds a lot less majestic than it is. It was so cute when it happened. It was adorable. It was like love at first sight, you know? <laughs> but no, it was like totally random that he found like my picture on Instagram. And then like he, he knew him. It yeah. all went down the DMs. Okay. Yeah. Just- DMs do work. This is a proven story right here. And now we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> we eat burritos and <laughs> we used to ride when I was into it. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just a sim bro, you know. Yeah, <laughs> just chilling. <laughs> but yeah, that's funny. Mm. That was a while back too. That was like 2014 yeah i think it was i was like a sophomore or junior dang that was a long time ago it seems like so long ago it's weird so you only you only rode for like two years me yeah yeah the 250 i had the i got the 230 when i was a freshman and then i got the 250 Uh, when i was like a sophomore or junior so I, I rode sure for... Yeah, junior. I gosh. don't know. Oh, man. So what is that? Like, I, I stopped probably... What would you say? Like, six months ago? Yeah. So that's... I rode for, like, four or five years. It wasn't, like, a lot. He's hmm. pro. He's He's gone pro in five years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just... I got too good that I just had to stop putting people to shame. <laughs> he sponsored, like, uh... Like our buddy John. <laughs> yeah. No, Jerry. It's Jerry. 
Oh, it's Jerry now? Oh, shoot. Wait, are we going with John? We have a friend, and he's he's pretty much pro. I mean, he's bought all the cool gear. Except the helmet. He's, yeah. Yeah, the helmet's pretty lame. <laughs> he, he's bought all the cool bikes, you know. Uh, you he, know he's pro because he's got monster energy all over his shrouds and everything. <laughs> monster by monster. so cool to have monster energy graphics. I wish <sighs> I was that cool. Yeah, Nobody will sponsor yeah. me like that, though. Yeah. I wish I just was so oblivious to the world that I thought Monster was cool. I yeah. Think that's the main thing I wish. It's like getting sponsored by diabetes, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Freaking cancer. Sponsored by. Oh, Jesus. I don't know. So bad. Breast cancer. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. This it, is bad. Just because you buy expensive shit and think you're fast doesn't make you pro. Yeah, it's it's really cute when you post like when they post riding videos and it's just like I don't even know. It's just it's hard to explain how cringy it is. You know, one thing I realized throughout riding is like, you know, like I went and got like a twenty six KT, twenty sixteen. I mean, yeah, and like it's such a nice bike. I don't want to do like half the crap I do just because I want to keep it nice. I feel like the same thing for like gear too. I spend way too much money on it. Uh, you like, just uh, gotta rip it. <laughs> yeah, like it's too much of a Like pain if I got a new one twenty five, that thing would be clapped in like three weeks. Oh gosh. <laughs> like the plastics I just can't see would be like scuffed. Paying, and... like seven grand for a new one twenty five though. I can. Because <laughs> then, like for a top end, what you're out two hundred bucks every twenty. Well, right. Well, yeah, right. but I mean, like a used one twenty five. Yeah, it has to be used for me to buy one. Yeah, same. Yeah, like three grand, four grand. Yeah, because then you Sick. save the initial like depreciation that that kid mm-hmm. suffered from. You know, yeah, never buy from a dealer. <laughs> yeah, like I'll never, I'll probably never buy like a new car unless it's like a Lamborghini, which isn't gonna happen. You know, one day. One, One day. day when Simbros takes off, you guys will both be like ripping around the Lambo. I'm like, girlfriend Plastro. reaction to Lamborghini acceleration gone wrong in the hood, gone sexual. What? That, you know, that's cute. Yeah, it could be. That definitely will not happen. Just uh, replace Lamborghini 125. <laughs> 125, yeah. Gone oh, sexual 125. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude, clickbait it's freaking so funny like, I'm gonna have you guys done fun. any of that clickbait stuff yet nope it's good not really we stay tried and true to our subscribers because we're not ass wipes yep. respect like tanner fox nailed it yeah screw that guy <laughs> screw that guy well boys we're coming up on an hour and three minutes here oh so, shucks any 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 last words <laughs> I mean, if anybody made it this far, just congratulations. Shouts out to you. Don't forget to go uh, check out Ethan's channel for sure. Yeah. Yeah, go subscribe. <laughs> get him to 100. Yeah, I want at least 100. Yeah, let's get him to 100. I think he's close. You're at 85. Yeah, I'm telling him to make more <laughs> videos. I want Reed to subscribe to me, please. Reed, go subscribe to Ethan. Yeah. That's like that's all I really care about. I just want Reed. You just want Reed? Reed will definitely. Hello, bros. I don't there. really care about them. They kind of suck. <laughs> yeah, like Tim. Damon. Damon, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damon, man, <Just> unsubscribe. <laughs> oh man! Now that I said that, he's gonna go to each one of my videos, like dislike them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, screw the Andersonator, man. <laughs> the butt snorkeler. The butt snorkeler. So funny. Yeah, I'm changing my name right now to the butt snorkeler on YouTube. Just, just a heads up. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh man. Uh, well, thank you everyone for watching Simcast number three with Ethan. Be sure yeah! to go go check out his channel for some in real life writing videos because we're not gonna do those for a while because <laughs> we don't have bikes. Yeah. But uh Yeah Yeah. This week should be fun filled for videos. Yeah. Well, uh, see you guys later. <laughs> see you, dudes. Yo. Yeah.